Hey there, it's Paula and Athena, who needs to stay away so that we don't knock over the phone. Um, <clears throat> I received a couple questions or a couple requests to please go over the pose, one of the poses that I included in the PDF yesterday, and it's the squat pose. It has a much prettier name in Sanskrit. It's called Malasana or garland or squat. And I'd like to start with the easiest variation so that you can see how easy it would be able to do no matter where you are, actually. Um, malasana has a lot of benefits to the hips as well as to the digestive system. And one of the things that we're doing in spring is caring for our kapha. So the first way to do a malasana, a version of malasana, is to sit with your knees and your feet as far apart as you can while sitting on a chair. I encourage you to sit forward in the chair so you're not slouching. You're sitting a little bit forward of your sit bones and you relax your hands on your thighs, or if you'd like, you can bring your hands in front of your heart center. She's very needing of love these days, this puppy is. So that's our first version. The second is to do what's the pose that's called seated chair or utkatasana, fierce pose. And that is to, I'm going to do this sideways so that you can see where my butt's going and how it is not over my knees. But you stand with your feet just wider than hip width apart and your feet aligned. And then you sit back. The tendency is to do this. And I'm inviting you to sit with your butt back, like you're downhill skiing, actually. And then you can t either have your hands in front of your heart, you can have them up over your head, um, or you can rest them on your thighs. Wherever you go, check always to make sure that your butt is back and that your knees are back, not over your toes. That's another version. It's actually Utkatasana. It's not Malasana, but it's a, th it's a pose that you can do as you're working your way into or toward Malasana. And another version is to sit with your toes out. You want your heels on the ground and you'll be like this for a version of Malasana. If your knees allow you to do it, you can lower the block so that you're sitting a little bit lower with your elbows inside of your knees. If your knees allow, but your heels come up and you end up here, then you can take a blanket or a rolled up mat, put your heels on that rolled up blanket and you're approaching the ground. You're approaching a deeper and deeper version and you're honoring your body. body. <clears throat> if this doesn't work for your knees, please don't do it. If you're taking care of your knees, please don't do this. <laughs> Instead, come to a higher version. And if you're able, toes out, heels down, here is another version of Malasana. Whatever you choose to do, let it be a version that honors who you are and how your body is today, right here, right now, not as you always wished it was, not as it used to be and is no longer, but as it is right here, right now, Malasana. So my friends, if you have any questions, you know to post them below or to send me a message. But in any case, many blessings always.